How is going on guys and welcome, my name is Alone RS and yes I am actually on old school, I do have an Iron Man now which is called Alone OS RS and uh, yeah we're going to do this. Now I'm actually really excited over this because I've heard that old school is very centered around PVMing when it comes to the higher tiers or even the lower tiers for an Iron Man. You get so many good supplies as well as the bosses like Solra for example drops amazing supplies for an Iron Man and stuff like that but that's obviously far into the future but also there's so many goals that I have to to do now a fresh account compared to my RS3 Iron Man. Now I really did love overall just playing an Iron Man on RS3 so I think it's time for me to go over to old school now and I might be still making some RS3 videos but this is actually going to be my main focus. Now I'm actually this is a fresh account right so it's completely new I have one in every single stat and I think that the best thing I could probably do to start off my account is to just do a bunch of fishing and cooking and that's obviously very boring to show so you know what I'm actually just going to pause the video here and in the next clip you'll see some awesome stuff all right well that was quite the jump wasn't it I now have lobsters in my inventory and I have 44 fishing 1.7k to 45 and I can show you guys what I've been doing for fishing I've been doing shrimps I did some anchovies I guess that's just automatic when you do shrimps anyways I then did trouts and salmons and now I'm doing lobsters and the way I got the feathers was just kill chickens and also I got some random event which gave me like 600 GP so I could buy some feathers but I have 254 shrimps I have 33 anchovies 441 trouts which is probably the food I'm going to use until I get at least like 20 HP and then I have 151 salmons and 243 lobsters so I think it's time for me to start cooking I sh can, uh, should be able to cook on these here I do believe so yeah let's do that and I'll start with the shrimps Alright, so this is the food that I ended up with. I burnt like, I would say 30% of all the food that I cooked, but that's not too bad because I don't have any cooking gauntlet, so it's to be expected. And I also had like 6 cooking, so obviously I'm going to burn a bit. I ended up on 45 cooking, which is pretty good. I'm happy with that. But I think I'm going to do the Restless Ghost quest now, so let's get into that. And there we have the reason to why I wanted to complete this quest. It took me literally 3 minutes and you get 1.1k prayer experience. Now I can't really remember what level that is but I think, yeah, it's 9. Alright, so that's a good start on the account honestly. Prayer is obviously one of the really important stats. But I think I'm going to try and do Demon Slayer. I'm not sure if I will be able to because my combat stats are horrific. But as I have so much food I might just bring like lobsters and I might be able to do it. So let's see if I can do it. Wait, he only has 7 HP? That is the weirdest thing ever, like a 27 has 7 HP. But anyways, there we go. He's dead now. Well, that was easy. Like, literally, I, my first hit was 7. Oh, I need to do this incantation now. Alright, I'll do this. I have it written down and I'll get back to you guys. Alright, there we go. The last one is going to be this one and let's see what the reward is. I actually don't know what the reward is. The last time I did this quest was like literally a year ago. So I'm really unsure what the reward is, but I reckon it was combat experience wise. So I think this is going to be pretty good for me. What the hell? It just cancelled the screen? What the fuck, man? That's rude. Wait, let me see if I got any experience. It doesn't even seem like I got any combat experience. Really? So what did I get? I need to look this up. The reward for the quest is 3 quest points and the silver light. This is awkward. I think it's actually quite important that I do tell you guys this and this is my path for progression on my account. I do have this planned and how I'm kind of going to do it in a way that I think is going to be quite efficient. Now if we look at this list right here there's a lot of skills and there's a bunch of quests like look at this. This is the most amount of quest ever, right? But all of them are quite useful, like Monkey Madness, the, you know, Grand Tree, Tree Gnome Village, Desert Treasure, Waterfall Quest, I would do these anyways, like, I would definitely do them. Underground Pass is a huge pain in the ass, that's, I just hate that quest, I've done it like five times, no joke, I hate it. But anyways, I have to do it right, and then we have some other useful quests here, and just overall just quest points, right? But overall, it's very good to do this as a progression path on my account, because if I get all of these skills, I have a decent account, right? It's okay-ish to start off with, and also doing all these quests is going to give me even more experience. And if I, in the end, complete all of these things, I will be able, able to get Barrow's gloves, which is obviously huge. Like, those are amazing gloves for an Iron Man, just overall OSRS, right? 
So this is going to be kind of my progression path and I don't really care if I get like 36 wood cutting and then after that I do a quest that gives wood cutting experience. I really don't mind if I go to like 40 wood cutting. Sure maybe it wasn't the most efficient. I spent like 10 minutes doing some extra wood cutting, but I don't mind really. I just play for fun most of the time and all of these skills are just very useful skills and I'll get some of them through combat, you know, magic and ranged for example and then 10 slayer like come on that's the easiest thing ever right um, but I think agility is going to be the first thing I'll go for because having agility on, on an account is just super good it just less you know run energy drain so I think that's going to be the first thing I'll do I also kind of already have 53 fishing like I'm really close to that so we're in good hands so far but I think uh, it's time for some agility training but I just wanted to let you guys know that this is actually a list I'm going off so if you see that I'm just randomly doing some fire making then you know that I'm doing it because this is a requirement for the quest I'm going to do in the future. Anyways, I went over to the tree no village and I got 10 agility, it took me literally no time whatsoever. And now I can start doing some uh, rooftop agility courses and that is going to be very nice. So I'm going to head over to Draenor and keep on doing agility. Alright, that's 20 agility. I also completed an easy task in the Lombridge and Draenor area and it's agility related. I don't know how I completed it, but I just did randomly when I was doing the course. But anyways, I think I'm going to pause there and I currently have seven of the Marks of Grace. And I do actually have a plan I want to do now and that is make some money and then spend that money on runes so I can actually get my magic level up. And I think that's just overall good for the account because you can teleport to all different locations with magic. It just makes everything so easy to do. And I think the best way of making money at this stage is actually go to the wilderness and pick up steel bodies and then sell them to the store so I'm going to do that for a bit and I'll get back to you guys when I have a bunch of them now getting all of these steel plate bodies was actually a lot more annoying than I thought it was because it was like surrounded by hill giants by all kinds of different monsters I also got PK ones like that's the most annoying thing ever to happen when you're like level what am I level 8 and it's like 45 40 wilderness and a level 40 with a bone crossbow came and killed me like what are the odds please but anyways that did happen I died three times because uh, I didn't bring enough food for the first time the second time I got one shot by a dragon and then I got PK'd once so yeah that wasn't very good but in the end this is how many I got and I managed to get all the way out of the wilderness. So I'm going to sell the all of these to the uh, armor store I can show you on the map. It's the one right here I can't remember what the name of it is but I'm going to go there and sell all of these to the store and I'm going to get a decent amount of money and I'll use that to buy some runes like mind runes and air runes. Alright, so we got 21,720 GP so I'm going to head over to the store and buy some runes. So I'm going to be doing magic here until 13 and I actually have a bunch of runes like look at this almost 2000 mine runes and 1.5k air runes so we're good to go for quite a while but I will be getting 13 magic here and then after that I'm actually going to do the waterfall quest and then when I've done that I'm going to save spot fire giants because if I do get like 10 kills let's say I get 10 kills I'm going to get a bunch of magic experience just from the splashes but also there's that small chance of getting a rune scimitar if I do get a rune scimitar that is just just absolutely amazing and the loot from them like the fire runes from them is pretty good anyways to just keep my runes coming so I'm going to be doing that and hopefully it's going to turn out great. Dude I'm going to get shit tons of experience now let's see what I get let's put this one on the chalice and we get oh my god look at that. Woo, that is an awesome experience 13.7k strength and th strength and attack experience. Oh my god, that is so much experience. Let's see what I get. I got 30 and 30. Holy shit. That is some awesome gains. I went from like 8 combat to 24. Alright, that is great. But I also have access to uh, the fire giants now, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually just uh, go over to my bank and just get my runes out and do some fire giants. And I get back to you guys with what magic level I reached. Alright, so the overall drops I got was 1 loop half of a key, 5 blood runes and 450 fire runes. That was actually it. All the other drops was just normal big bones. But I also got 31 magic and I'm really happy about that. I didn't expect 20k cash, even less than that, like 18k, I think 18k cash to be able to get 31 magic. Which is absolutely insane in my opinion, I'm really happy with that. Also got 21 HP, so we're doing good. I actually think my next goal is going to be to complete the Lost City quest. I don't know why, but I just feel like that's one of those quests that you should complete fairly early. It's like, 
not that hard to do and it's really easy to get the requirements and they're also very useful to get. Now crafting is probably the most annoying on an Iron Man because most likely I will have to pick flax. But flax is very useful for an Iron Man anyways because of the bowstrings that you get from it. So we will be doing wood cutting first. I think it's 36 for the requirement for the quest. And then after that I'll start picking some flax and my bag is full. But after that I will start picking some flax and craft them into bowstrings. What the hell? I've never seen this before. I'm going to drop this log and I just got a hard clue scroll nest? That's- that gotta be new. That's gotta be a new item. That's really cool actually. I'm happy with that. But I'm currently at 21 wood cutting. Is this like more rare the, the more high level tree you cut? In that case, if it is, I was really lucky doing it- getting it off an oak tree. Alright, so that's it for the wood cutting part. So let's go over to Catherby and to the flax fields and start picking up Fuck tons of flax. Now, the thing is I actually need 10 crafting to be able to do that, so you know what? First off, I actually need to go to the cow pen and kill some cows, make that into leather and then craft that until I get 10 crafting and then we can go to the flax fields. Alright, there we go, I got 10 crafting from cow hides and I also got 15 defense by just killing the cows, so that was pretty neat. We also had 29 combat from that, I think that was like 2 combat levels or 1, I can't remember. But anyways, I'm going to go over to Catherby and pick some flax. Alright, so this is going to be the last flax, there we go, 31 crafting, and that was actually really fast, I expected it to take way longer than it did, I think it took like one and a half hour or maybe two hours, so that was pretty quick, so anyways, I think we should be able to complete the lost city now, so let's go and do that. Time to equip the Draymond staff and enter this room and complete the quest. Now the main reasons why I kind of wanted to complete this quest is because the quest points are great. Like look at that, three quest points and we also have access to Sonaris. Now in Sonaris you can actually purchase the Dragon Longsword as well as the Dragon Dagger. But that is obviously for 60 attacks and can't really use it now. But it's just good to have unlocked for the future. Also you get access to Piro Piro or whatever it's called. I can't re really remember what it's called. But the, it's the place right here and you can go in here with the uh, Hunter when you do get your Hunter level up and you can catch Implings. So overall this place is just very good to have unlocked and now we do. I actually felt like starting the Slayer requirement for the recipe for Disaster Quest and I kind of want to get to Canafist to be able to use that Slayer Master because it fits my level currently. So what I did was I completed the Rune Mysteries quest because I need uh, 20 Rune Essence I think it is or 30 maybe even to be able to do Priest in Peril which is the way to get to Canafist. Now I can't remember if you needed this quest to be able to teleport and actually mine the Rune Essence or if this just unlocked the rune crafting skill and you could just mine anyways. I'm not sure but I thought what the heck I'll just do it anyways because I'll be needing it in the future anyways. So yeah there you go rune mysteries is completed. Alright there we have it the priest in peril quest is completed and I got 1.4k prayer experience for it so that is actually not that bad. Let's see if we got any levels for it. We got all the way to 15 I thought I think it was 9. No that, that can't be true because that's way too much experience. Wait actually that's probably true because that's, yeah, we, we have 2.5k experience and that's the experience from Restless Ghost as well as from the Priest in Peril quest, so 15 prey from that. Let's pick up a Slayer assignment from the Slayer Master in Canopus, so let's see what we get. So I only need 10 Slayers, so 70 of the Wolves is probably going to give me that, but it's pretty good. I mean, I can just pick up the bones and bury them as well, so, oh, we got an achievement, well, not achievement, but yeah, achievement diary has been completed, so... Uh, yeah, we got 70 wolves, so let's just go and do that, and uh, hopefully we can get 10 Slayer on that would be quite convenient to do it in one Slayer assignment. From a random event, I got two diamonds, and I also just sold some leather stuff because I don't really need this, as well as the blood runes and the cowhide. I mean, the cowhide gave me like 2 GP, so that's nothing really, but uh, I sold that to get some money so I can actually just buy a mithril scimitar. I was actually looking for an Addy one, but I was like... It probably costs way too much for what I need, really. So I'm going to buy a Mithril from this guy right here. It's only 1k, so I'm going to buy that and equip that. So that's going to be my best weapon as of now, I guess, for the wolf task. It's going to be pretty decent, and I'm going to be training defense so I can maybe hit 30 as well. So I have 30 in all of them. And then after that, I'll probably keep on training attack for uh, 40. And when I get to that point, I might be doing some fire giants with um, magic that I'll try to get money for somehow and just try to get a that rune scimitar. Well that's fairly inconvenient, I need one more slayer level and I just finished the task, but I also did get 8 defense levels, so I need 6 more until I have 30 in attack, strength and defense, so that's actually pretty cool. Let's just go back to Canopus and get a new one. 15 flesh crawlers, easy enough. 
All right, there we go, 10 Slayer. I also picked up the 2,000 gold you get from when you do the first part of the security stronghold thing. We got some Quorum as well and some other stuff. And there we go, 10 Slayer as well as 25 Defense. Sweet. For now, this is going to be the end of this episode. I hope you guys did enjoy this. So there's going to be a lot more old school videos coming. I already have a bunch pre-recorded. So I hope you guys will enjoy this series that I'm going to be making just as much as I'm actually enjoying playing old school. It's actually really fun with like a change of pace from RS3. I still love playing RS3, but there's going to be a lot of old school videos coming. So be ready for that. I hope you guys did enjoy this one and take care.